Like, subscribe and get notified. Frustrated with the nuisance created by the tourists, Sao Tome residents have urged the Panji mayor to find a permanent solution to the growing menace of tourists in the neighborhood of Sao Tome. Sao Tome and Fontenhas are part of the rich built heritage of Panjim and have a cultural significance and is demarcated as a heritage and conservation zone. But for tourists, the area is nothing but a place for noise, photographs, Instagram reels and pre-wedding and post-wedding shoots. The nuisance created by tourists has greatly disturbed residents of the Latin quarters for the last three to four years. When we say that tensions have been due to the differences in social values between tourists and locals. This is a very stressful situation for the residents leading to problems affecting the peace of the place. It is very stressful. If you have seen the last incident that has taken place in Santome, it is quite a stressful incident from both sides. And it has uh, reached a breaking point, uh, I should say. These tourists are shattering the peace of peace-loving citizens of both South America and Fontaines. And Fontaines is not a commercial zone. It's basically a residential zone. But we have now noise. We have uh, the pollution noise. We have traffic congestion. And it all leads to stress, tension, worries, and anxieties. So now we are raising our strong voice for this type of negative tourism which is all uncontrolled and there is traffic congestion as I said and it continues because the police are not there to be seen anywhere. For us it is the noise that is disturbing all of us and most of us are citizens who are having quite an uh, advanced age. So our world is always a peaceful world. So most of my colleagues they have covered most of the points. But what I feel is this tourism, we are not against tourism, but un uh, unorganized tourism. This is what is the problem. I feel like the government should appoint some uh, tourist police or a traffic police. Now you see a lot of these rent a car and bike, they don't know our roads. They enter any side, wrong side and they come full speed. And one more thing is the signages. Suddenly our roads have become no more zones. Now these tourists are taking advantage of it. Uh, they are occupying the, uh, the full road, they are walking on it. And if we confront them, they are saying, see, this is the science. They are saying no more zones. I think which actually has to be changed, I feel. That is a major problem. So every tourist taxi is wanting to uh, extend his uh, services to his client and they want to drive them. If it's possible to drive them inside the chapel also with the vehicle to show them, they will do that. So the thing is, how does one put these tourist taxis in their place? And I think that there have to be severe uh, the thing, uh, rules when they break these, uh, they uh, violate all these things of you know entering these areas with their large vehicles. And most of them today are large air-conditioned Innova vehicles that are not suited to the narrow lanes and roads of uh, Fontaine. So something has to be done to curtail this and uh, put this in order. Now towards finding solutions. All right. One thing that I can think of, and we had thought of it much earlier, and all of them have uh, also been saying about it, is whether it's possible to identify centralized parking lots. All right. And these centralized parking lots could be like how we have a centralized parking lot, which has recently been done, which is now serving all those uh, uh, ferry tours, you know, the cruise line, cruise, cruise, uh, cruise tourism. You know. So something in that line of spaces can be identified and things like that, then that would work very well. And that could be supported by creating a small vehicular loop system, like a rickshaw, a small open bus, or something like this. It could take people, and all you have to do is to run that entire bus along Rua Dore, or the, the rickshaw, or anything. When electric vehicles would be the best acceptable form. Yeah, you could run it along the Rua Dore, because from Rua Dore, any part into the interiors of Fontaines and up to the base of the slope of Altino is just about 250, 300 meters, which is a walkable distance. So you've got a whole length of about three kilometers, uh, you know, access from this bus loop system, it's just 250 walking distance, and I think that would be the best thing over there. It could have even the residents of Fontaines 
to, if they want to park their vehicle in the centralized parking lot, get their vehicles over there and access this whole thing. We can also slowly start moving towards a walkable Fontaigish in the future. We can do it because if you come here, for example, in the evenings, right from the post office all the way into that road of Punya Gosal's road, you know, you've got motorcycles parked continuously. On the other side, your vehicles park continuously. You see a narrow width over there. Panjim is now beginning to look like a parking lot. It's not looking like a city anymore. You know, all this beauty that and charm that we talk about the city is just simply overwhelmed with these machines that are placed on our streets. So we need to 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 look at this. All right. Now this is as far as I'm. I can think of as far as your traffic, vehicle movement, and parking is concerned. Which we had last year. It was a one-day festival that was held at Fonte Inez and the next day at Santo Bay. Now, this year, I suppose Fonte Inez said a no. So, Santo Bay, we were requested to have the festival for two days at Santo Bay. Now, the after experiencing everything last year, the participation of the locals has been minimum. And we have not been very happy, not very happy, not happy at all with the way everything was conducted. So we do not want to have it. It was something that started last year. So the previous ward already said no. So we have been requested to have it for two days, I, instead of one can day. Can I add, yes. last year, Fontaigius itself, Arvind also is there, part of that. We also said no. But then, somebody from Santome bulldozed, and they said, we must have. So a lot of things of this kind are going on. We are not happy about it. Watch on Herald TV.